Hello. Let me get this light together. Hi, my YouTube family. How are you guys? I'm so excited to be here. Y'all see, I tried to upload some pranks and me and my nephew and the things that we've been doing since we've been quarantined. But I think now is a better time than any to figure out what you guys want. So I have a pad. Hey, who's watching? Let me know who you are, what's your name? And I have my pen, okay? Because today I really want to get into what you guys want from this channel. I want to create a personalized, like customized channel so that you leave fulfilled, so that you leave happier, that you leave with a bigger smile than you had when you came. Um, and to keep you coming back. So often we get one time subscribers and then they never come back. So I want to make sure that my content that I am giving is made just for you. I want to know what you've liked. I want to know what you haven't liked. I want you to tell me what videos I could do better. Uh, do you like the quality of the videos? Do you like the content of the videos? What do you want me to talk about? So that's one of those. That's what today is going to be. So talk to me. I'm all ears. Um, I want to be better. I want to be better for you. I'm not really like, I want my channel to grow. Yes. But I don't want it to grow with people who aren't faithful, who aren't like really good supporters who just come and they don't give to the channel or help me to make it better. You know, like sounds bad, but you know, I want faithful people who are going to invest in what I give, who's going to you know, watch what I provide and put out the content. Because when I do these videos, I don't know if y'all know, but I do it with all of my heart. I completely give my absolute everything. When I create videos, my content is based on my life. I'm sharing all of my life, but I want to make sure that I am actually speaking about what you want to hear. So talk to me. What have I, what would you like me to share on this channel? What questions do you have about your walk with God, your relationship, your self-esteem, your identity? You know, thank you, Tara. Tara, you're just such, just such a good friend. I just appreciate you, okay? I really appreciate you, Mr. Dunn. But with that being said, like, what other topics do you think that I can share? What other topics can I share? Um, would love to see more live Q and A. Okay, I think what I want to do. I write that down. So I would like you know send me some questions for any of those that would like me to do a live Q and A. Send me some questions of some things that you want to know um, about me or about my walk or about anything. So. Send me some questions so that I can do a Q&A and I don't just, you know, be talking to myself or answering questions that you really don't care about. So what do you guys care about? What do you guys care about? Um, yeah, what do you care about? Um, let's see. So Tyra, what other uh, topics can I can I share? I know that I kind of like stopped because I will. Okay, let's let me let's just, let's just have that conversation. So I was really like the enemy was like super duper duper fighting me and who I was, like legit. I was so overwhelmed with like he just was so persistent and he would not stop and he really had me questioning who I was and what I was created to do and what I was called to do. And I don't usually let the enemy get to me at all. I mean, like at all, but it was just like, you know what? I don't trust God like I want to. I'm not really where I want to be. Yeah, I didn't have a dad growing up that really affected me. It affected how I see God, like all of that. And I just started to 
sit. Oh, uh, it like um, yeah, like that's how I, I was like, oh, like I don't want to talk. I got off social media for like a week and some change. And I haven't recorded a video here because I was like, I want to make sure that I'm giving you all of me. I want to ensure that when I speak to you about the things, when I talk about God, that you actually can feel the passion of what I'm saying. Like I, one thing I cannot stand when people be on here and they're telling you about somebody else's experience with God. Like, I want to know about your experience with God. I want to be able to know that when you finish encouraging me that I can go to God and get that same thing if he's no respect of a person. But a lot of people talk about God on a I know about you basis and not I know you. So I want to make sure. And that's that's one of the things that I'm never going to give you. I'm never going to give you fake conversations or somebody else's story. I want to give you my story. I want to give you what God has done in my life because that makes it more real. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I kind of took a step back, um, but we're all good. I know who I am. I know who God has called me to be. I know who he is and I'm learning him every day. And I was like, you know what? The truth of the matter is I'm not as bad as I thought I was. Like, I am not just like on the outs with God. Like I know how to pray. I know how to talk to God. Um, I know how to relate to God, but there were some things that I was still dealing with that started to come up and instead of avoiding things like I have done in the past, I actually had to confront, um, them. I had to like come face to face with them, stop avoiding them because just because you avoid them doesn't make them go away. So that's what I was dealing with. So also when you see people on YouTube and you see us going live and you see us putting out content, please um, pray for us. Like, especially the ones that's doing it because they're called by God and they're not in it just to make money. Like pray for us. Y'all Y'all do not know the things that we go through as content creators. You don't know how the enemy fights us. And he fights us because he's mad about what we're doing for the kingdom of God. And I want my channel to be anointed. I want when you hear me, you hear God and your level of self-esteem and your ideas and your thoughts about yourself goes to another level because you've heard me speak. That's what I want. I want more impact than a million followers. I want to impact your life. And that that comes from me knowing who I am. And I know who I am, I know who he is. And I, that's what I want to help people do, get back to him. Because when you know him, everything about your life changes. Ah, Tyrell, okay, so what's funny is I talked to God today about my, okay, so I had a, okay, let's see. So I am an accounting person. I love numbers and I love math. I love all things numbers <laughs> and money. So um, I have my bachelor's degree in accounting from University of South Carolina Upstate. Woo, woo, woo. Um, and I just talking to God today about bringing back my finance, her enterprises. And I was go I'm going to do um, what I want to do. Me and God, are, we're still working out the details. What I want to do is a business part of it where I do um, working with companies about their finances, but I also want to work with individuals about their finances. And I'll tell you what I wrote down. Tyrell, you was in the you was in it, brother. Um let's see. I think I wrote down how to grow your finances or your money God's way. I wrote that down. Okay. Help individuals budget money, money, the kingdom way, how to make more through investments, paying off debt, saving or investing, starting a bank account. So I literally just wrote that down today. You be on one. So Yes, we are young and trying to handle finances. And it's so funny because I can help you work on your finances better than I can help myself. But I really, I love budgeting. I love to like look at people's financial situations, how much they make, um, how much they bring home, what are their expenses, 
in helping you cut back. Actually, I I listen. I love numbers in math. Been helping you cut back on um, spending habits so that you can have more profits or more money to do more things. So yes, Tyrell, that's something. I already wanted to talk about because I feel like as children, I always talk about daughters, but you know, I mean, cause like how the Bible always talks about sons, like I always talk about daughters, but I want to help us as his children know what to do with the money that he gives us. So how to handle finances. I feel like we try to do so much the world's way and that's not where it is. Like doing money God's way is going to cause you to have more money because if we seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, all these things will be added unto us. More goofy videos such as what, sir? I'm going to prank my nephew. So for all of you that are out there like, oh my God, the poor baby, you can send him things uh, to my direct message. And then I want you to put like in the top of it, Pranks for Caden, and I won't read it. I'll let him and my aunt read it, okay? So send me an email. My email is tiara.griffin at gmail.com. And send Caden pranks too so that y'all won't think that I'm just being cruel, okay? Because I am going to prank him. I am going to do me a thorough study on pranks, and I'm going to get that little sucker. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm going to get him. Uh, Relationships, friendships, purpose, how to make wiser choices. That's good. How to make wiser choices. Oh, and um, Tyrell, you know I love a relationship chat, okay? I love a relationship chat. Relationship chat. Yo, getting rid of negative friends. I talked about that when I went to speak at the high school. And a young boy walked up to me and he was like, um, I just had to cut off my friends. And what do I, how do I keep from going back to my negative friends? So that's good. Away from negative friends. Let me tell you something about those friends. I had some friends before. Um, Purpose. I love purpose. Seven. More conversation about how you overcome obstacles and trials. Overcoming obstacles and trials. That's good. I've I've had to overcome quite a bit. I see two people on. Y'all talk to me. I don't want y'all to say that I, I customize it for Tyrell because Tyrell's the only one talking to me. So if you tell me what you want, I can uh, give you me through the answers, how to receive and not run from challenges. Tyrone. How to not run from challenges. That's something that we do as a coping mechanism. Okay. That's good, that's good. Um, I also wanna like share, that's, that's good because we do struggle a lot with trying to get away from folks that aren't purpose-driven. We try to take people with us, like, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta leave them behind. You gotta leave them behind. For that mental health one, I literally would get someone. <laughs> would y'all like special guests? Young adult perspective. Would y'all like special guests and stuff like that? Like somebody else coming on that will be able to better talk about the topics that you have? Yes, capital Y E S. That okay, so um send me questions. Like when I do a live QA, send me questions. And some guys as well for us fellas. Lord, lead me to the men's. This is. <laughs> lead me to some good friends that, I, and I and I and I also will definitely pray about who I bring on, because one thing, like you know how past 
people come and they'd be like, thank you for letting me be on your platform. I'm very particular over my people. So it would definitely be with people that I prayed about. Um, send me the menses. Um, I also want to do, me and a friend were talking about like uh, virtual pillow chats. Uh, me and her, but that probably on Facebook because it's hard to, I don't know how to do two people on here. But we were talking about like talking about relationships and getting into relationships um, like for real. Especially during this quarantine because y'all will know what I know. It's going to be a lot of babies me and made right now. And I'm just going to be like, you got to keep the boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Because sacrifices and sacrifice until there's other options. You know, like people like, oh, I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, you really don't have anybody to do anything wrong with. You know what I'm saying? Like when you are like single by default, <laughs> you know, there's not much of a challenge. Like. But right now, when we are quarantined, when all the exes look good and now you're convenient and now they're calling you, I don't want my friends to go back to the things that they fought themselves out of. And now you have a permanent problem from a temporary situation. Yeah. I don't want that to be any of us, okay? Because... Keep them boundaries strong right now. Stronger than they ever had to be strong before because this is the time the Bible says, you know, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Please keep your hands busy in your life busy right now. Begin to ask God about your purpose. Fast more. That'll help you save some food. Um, but really get before God and be like, okay, God, the world is still, the world is still like some of us have been praying for the, the life just to slow down for a minute so that you could catch your breath. Right now is the time to catch your breath, catch your breath, talk to God about your life. Talk to God about your purpose, because what's going to keep you right now is purpose. What's going to keep you from going crazy is purpose and going outside for some fresh air. OK, figure out what God wants from you. Um, figure out who you are. Grow your relationship with God right now. Like, yo, right now is not the time to be idle because Satan, he always uses vulnerable moments to displace us. And I think there's a scripture in the book. Well, it is a scripture in the Bible. I just don't know where it is. And it says, unless he has the advantage of you, do not give Satan the advantage over you right now. Now is not the time to give him no advantage, no lead way. He is like, Satan is like a cockroach, okay? He will crawl into little spaces. So make sure that you don't have no cracks. Make sure that all windows are closed. All opportunities that don't lead you to God are closed. All doors are closed. Now is the time to get more secure. Make sure that your security system is up to date, not your house, but like your security system. Make sure that your ears, your eyes, and your mouth yeah, ears, eyes, and mouth are secure right now and that you're not letting anything into your spirit, for real. Like, we ain't got time for no, what's up, big heads? Like, we walk in in purpose. We live in Goshen. Uh, God is providing for us. We're not afraid of this time because of who we are. Keep the gates guarded. Okay? Right now is not the time to not even a little bit no compromising like but you can you can do that when you know who you are like I have no desire to compromise because I know who I am and I know who he is and ask God to help you guard your gates like literally the the Bible says um the city watches in vain basically when the Lord doesn't watch the city watches in vain so God, watch over me, watch over my family. And another thing, I know we don't want to talk about Corona, but let me tell you what I decree over myself and my nephew and my family and my dwelling place. Uh, no sickness, no disease, no bacteria, no virus touches my body. It will die immediately upon contact. 
we don't get sick. We don't get common colds because God already died for it. Jesus died on the cross for our healing and our health. Therefore, if it ain't in heaven, it ain't in me. If it ain't in heaven, it ain't in my family. If it ain't in heaven, it ain't in my house. Let that kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, bring heaven to my earth, bring heaven to my reality, bring heaven to my life. And when heaven comes, if it's not allowed in heaven, it's not allowed on the earth. Y'all gonna have to do some binding and some loosen, okay? We bind corona and we lose health. We bind sickness and we lose health. We bind diseases and we lose health. Health is our portion because it is the children's bread. Period. And let me tell y'all, the enemy has decided that he's going to attack one of my family members. I don't know why he did it with COVID-19. Like, you must not know who you're dealing with. Like, you're um, on illegal. You're illegally coming in right now because we pled the blood. And when the enemy sees the blood, he has to pass over. And you just still decided to come in. I don't know what you was thinking, but you and COVID-19 can get the hell on back to where y'all come from in the name of Jesus. We come against it by the blood. I decree that she's already healed. Her name is the healed. And I'm not speaking from my authority. I speak from the authority of Christ. And I've already prayed that heaven enters her body and her body comes into alignment with the purposes of God. And she's going to be healed. And I decree that she will be healed, not um, However long it's taking people to be healed, supernatural healing is hitting her body right now. And I sent the word and it's already done. So I'm thanking God for a healing because I do not know why. I don't know why you came over here with that. Like, no, sir, we come against you. We call it out. And if you got Corona and you dealing with Corona, we call it out. She's healed by the Lord in Jesus name. Yes, we call it out. Corona come out now because you're under the authority of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is our Lord. He is. He is our Lord and he's reigning over us, over, over her. We're healed. We are the healed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, tangent, but yeah. So, um, and also we'll talk about like walking in your authority as children of the most high God. Um, There's two people on here, unless that's just me. Is it me and you, Tyrell? Looks like we're the only. <laughs> Looks like we're the only two. Um. I also want to do things with clothes. I love clothes. I love. I love fashion. Um, and it's just funny how when I was younger, we used to take clothes from Goodwill and cut them up and remake something else. And I think I want to repurpose clothes. Repurpose clothes, modesty. Purity too, because purity is not just abstaining from sex. Spiritual and physical modest, modesty. We can pray together. If y'all want to pray, y'all want to pray together. We can pray together. Because a channel that prays together stays together. So, like, what have y'all seen that y'all don't like? Talk to me about what y'all don't like. Or where I can improve and do better. I will do better my consistency. Like I said, I was going through a little, a little storm. But the storm is over now. And God is exalted. The devil is defeated. And we have the victory. If you're watching the replay of this, um, yeah, just let me know uh, what you guys want to see as well. Is my equipment, oh, is it, is it bad right now? <laughs> Pray for a team, Tyrell. 
Pray for a team. I want to do skits. Tyrell, thank you. I want to do skits. Um, but it's super hard to do skits by myself. And everybody's practicing social distancing. So, yeah. About that. So, <laughs> Thank you, bro. I, uh, yeah. Well, we need to get together, sir. I'm, I, I got some, I don't, I don't have any video ideas right now, but you know what I'll do? I'll come up with some content and we get together. Okay. So come up with content in Tyrell will act with me. Is that what you're saying, right? He's down, y'all. He's down. Okay. So, skit ideas. I've been seeing all the people do skits. I'd be like, oh. If only I had somebody else. I did a skit by myself one time, y'all. The level of editing. It was so much. It was so much. I was like, oh my God. But I think it was great, though. I had to do some skits on this album. It was hero. Um, I wonder if I can make this eyebrow go up. No. Only this one. I only can rock it this way. Okay, I think I'm done, guys. Thank you for your uh, feedback now and in advance. Thank you, Tyrell. You've definitely given me a great place to start. Let me just read to y'all real quick what um, a friend sent me before, what I can do. My good friend has sent me some, sorry, that was so Gucci. <laughs> That's what I do with my friends when we talking. So uh, he told me to do answer the question why daddy daughter is in dating. Um, do y'all want to know about like your relationship with your dad and how to heal that wound and how to date better? And what part of my life did I get to know God in the area of being a daddy? How did I get to know him in the area of me being a daughter? And how did I get to know him in the area of being a dating? Listen, I got so many dating stories about how the Lord, uh, uh, what's the word? Inter interjected, intervene, did the intervention on me when I was dating certain people. God told me straight up, no, one time. <laughs> Yo, it was so funny. It wasn't funny then. So how did you learn how to listen to God in your quiet time with him? I should probably do another one. Like, how did I learn to discern his voice? Discerning the voice of God, what it's not like. And I also learned, like, um, not only discerning his voice, but, like, different opportunities. And one is God and one is not. Um, he gave me a dream that he gave me the spirit of discernment. And discernment doesn't only mean devils and demons. He also gave me the discernment of angels in his presence, in his kingdom. Um, and um, how, like, to know, like, is this opportunity from God? Is this opportunity for me or is this opportunity from Satan? Like, I do a three-way test, God, me, or Satan. Does it glorify the kingdom of darkness? Does it glorify my flesh is something that I've always wanted personally and does it glorify God that's literally how I determine a lot of things and what got you out of spiritual complacency chow 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 let me tell you okay um, and then I'll read these questions to you guys and just let me know how you feel about it. So why daughters of absent daddies have daddy have dating issues? Why daughters date men like their daddy? Why daughters of absent daddies have issues with seeing God as dad? And how absent fathers affect a daughter's identity and purpose? So those are some questions that I have right now. 
but I would start with what I have. I want to also do morning devotionals, probably not on YouTube, it'd probably be on Instagram, but I'll keep you guys updated. Well, thank you. I got some great notes. I appreciate you, Tyrell, and those that watch and will watch later and who are going to give me feedback. Also, what days and times do you, are you guys most available? Because we're going back to work soon. We decree that in the name of Jesus. Um, what days and what times work best for you guys? When are you guys most available? When do you want to see them in the morning? When see them at night, during lunch? Let me know, let me know, let me know what day is your best day. Yeah, let me know all of that too. Because it's for you. It's for you. It's for you in the glory of God. And to see fruit. I am going to come back with more videos on um, The Secret Place. I am. Because I love I love those videos. Um, I, have, I have such a passion to help people in their secret place. Because, yo, I... Look at me. Look at me. I struggled. You hear me? And I think it's because... The church didn't teach us what to do when we got home. I, we didn't know about it, right? Who, God is a dad. Like, what does he do? Like, I don't understand. So, um, that's good, Tara, because I bought a lot of John Eckhart books. <laughs> the number 14. Great books. that help. Tara, let me tell you what book I'm reading right now that I'm reading so slow. Abba by Apostle Matthew Lewis Stevenson III. Abba? Abba got me out of that rut. Like, Abba was like, daughter, get up, get up, uh-uh, that's not true, what you are believing ain't true, the enemy is a liar, I am your father, I am inseparable from you, I love you, Tyra, I take so much notes in that, in that book. Now I'm reading this slow because I'm like, eating it and I'm just like yo so simple he is love and I'm loved by him period and everything I do is from love that book who Abba is amazing if you don't know Abba by Matthew Stevenson the third go get that today um but I love helping people get to know him that is my all oh, my passion is to help people get to God and to know God as dad, to know God as a lover of their souls, for it not just to be a nice quote, a nice Facebook status, for it to be like your reality, like I walk with God, like I talk to God, he answers me. And when he does it, I'm not mad at him. It's no direct reflection on who I am. Like I love it. And I really want to help people when they're at home. I'm like the tutor for your home, presence of God. Because relationships are built at home and not at church. Like, and I had a great analogy and I'll say this and I'm I'm out. So me and my friend were riding down, uh, taking him home after uh, we came from fire conference. And I saw the restaurant, um, I can't remember what restaurant it was, but I saw a restaurant and I said, like I, I had a whole download and I honestly felt God say, so many people are meeting with, like, okay, before I give you the revelation, people go on date to restaurants and in public, and everybody can see their public relationships, right? But when they get home, they don't want to talk to each other. They don't know how to talk to each other. They don't know how to love each other. They don't want you to, they don't touch each other or nothing. And God said, that's how it is with people in the church. We go on dates with God in public. We preach in public. We prophesy in public. We um, we write books and we have these great names in public and they see you together. But when you get home, you don't know what to do. There's no intimacy between you 
and your partner and no intimacy between you and God. Like, that's what it is. We go to church. Everybody see us. But when we get home, we're stuck on stupid because we don't know what to do with God. Yeah, we see you at church. We see you all high and mighty. We see you all blessed. We see all your answer, your prayers being answered. But you don't even know how to reach the heart of God when you're behind closed doors. Same way people have relationships and they go out to eat. And they get home. And they don't even know what to say to to each other. Because it's more about who sees me than what it really is. So I don't want people that follow my channel to be people that are seen in public with God but have no relationship. Can't reach the heart of God. Can't reach the mind of God. Can't reach the thought of God. Like, can't even read the Bible and figure out what he's saying. You don't even know his voice. Because it's more of an act. It's more of who sees me than actually having a relationship. You know, I was like, so I want to teach you what to do at home so that your public situations would be greater because Matthew 6 which I read today was saying whatever you do in secret God will reward openly when you pray in private in your in their closet which is I'm not going to teach but when you pray in your closet what you do privately you reward openly so when you have a relationship with God privately and you're building that intimacy with him and you're getting to know him and you're loving on him when you go into public you won't have to fake it You won't have to fake touch and hold and be overcompensating in your relationship because you don't get that at home. You know what I'm saying? So I want to teach you what to do at home. So when you go into private, people will just be drawn to you because they'll be able to sense and feel that you've been with God. Like I want when people leave me, I want them to go home and be like, God, Tierra has been with you. Like she lives with you. Like she looks like you. She smells like you. Like literally, that's what I want people to say about my life. Like she's been with God. That's literally what I want. So I want to teach you to be a person that, um, a person that um, they can say she's been with God. And people who've been with God get prayers answered. They not to move heaven and earth. Tired of, Christians who got don't got no power. And I feel like that's why a lot of unbelievers don't want to follow us because the God that we proclaim don't move on our behalf. And there's a scripture in the Bible that says, is he not doing it because he's just not doing it or because you want what you want for the wrong reasons? I want to just teach people how to get on one accord with God. So that's my whole thing. Whether it be through skits, whether it be through teachings, whether it be through me being funny or whatever, I want to teach you how to reach the heart of God. Period. How to have a relationship with him, because that's all he wants. And I don't think a lot of people are teaching on that. But I really am grateful that I am under the ministry of Apostle Matthew Stevenson um, and Apostle Yolanda Stiff of All Nations Worship Assembly. Because when I leave out the church or after listening to them, I literally can honestly say, man, these people have been with God. And you always want to be under the anointing and in a place where you see on your leader's life what you want on yours. And um, they teach me what to do when I get home as well. Like Apostle is all about the seek, the seek, the seek, the seek. and. Um, it's life changing. So with all that being said, that's why I want to help you who follow me, like seek God, not just when you want something from him, but seek him because it's what he wants from you. Don't seek God because you want something from him. That's good. Don't seek God only. Okay, woo! All all nations and will be more. I love them.
Okay, I love our church. And they call me during this quarantine. Okay. A live person, not a not a not a, a robot. They called to check on their people and see if we need anything. Now that's a church. All nations is the acts of God in the acts of the apostle. That's what all nations is. Oh, they blow my mind. And I'm so grateful that God told me to be at the church. So that's literally all I have for you guys. Thank you for your feedback and the feedback that I will get later on. I love you. My pa- I was in a pageant, y'all. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. I was in a pageant. But anyway, so I love you guys and I will see you guys later. I want to go work on um, the content and bring you back what you've been asking for. Love you. Bye.